All right, so I wanted to do a quick little video here. Um, just purchased this Waysafe hitch setup. Um, comes with the two and five sixteenths, the two inch ball, the Waysafe uh, ball mount, and then the receiver mount right there. And this is the two and a half inch shank there. So you can see it's sitting in a case right now. And this is the reason I wanted to do the quick little video. So they sell an aluminum setup and they sell a steel setup. Um, this case is for the aluminum setup. It does not fit the steel setup. Now it does fit, this piece fits in nicely. This piece is universal, so it snaps right in. Uh, the pin is universal, it snaps right in. And the ball here snaps right in. Um, or it doesn't snap in, it just kind of sits in there. And then you have the lock set up if you get the lock. So I have, everything's keyed the same. Um, the problem is, is the receiver mount here. So I'll go over this also, why this doesn't fit. But basically when I purchased this and added this one to the cart, it automatically populates the case as an option. So, okay. I was like, you know what? That'd be nice. Everything fits in there and I'll get the case. Um, problem is, is it shouldn't auto populate on the site because this case is not compatible with the steel setup. So whatever, it was it was on their site, it populated with the steel setup, so I guess, but anyway, it's, it's not compatible. So long story short, they're not compatible, it doesn't fit, um, but they're gonna, you know, I got it at a discount and they're gonna charge to send it back to them. So by the time I go through all that, you know what, I'm, I find ways to make things work. So. I made this case work. So this case does now work for the steel hitch mount set because otherwise you just have to have all this stuff just lying around in a bag, just banging together and whatever. So I, I like it like this. So what I did, and this is super easy to do, is you got yourself a heat gun and basically consider this like a beast of a hair dryer, but it is, uh, it's like 15, yeah, 1500 watts. I mean, this thing gets hot. This will burn your flesh pretty much immediately. So what you do is, and what I did, I went the extra step further and just because I wasn't sure what was gonna happen as far as, I knew I, I knew this would melt, but I didn't know exactly how it would how it would fit. So anyway, I just went ahead and put a little thin layer of just some regular old grease. I put a little thin layer here and here, right? Just so, plastic didn't stick to this and I'd have to clean all that off because that'd be a joke. So then what you do and what I did, and this, this worked out perfect, is you just put the mount in there. Um, everything else you just keep out of there. You just put this piece in right there. And then you heat this thing up to the point where it's literally melting. It's starting to get super soft. You can see that you can see the plastic melting. And then you literally just close it down, lock it up, and that's it. And you leave it out. You leave it down there. So that's what I did. I left it down there, um, locked it up, and then I actually put some weight on here and let it mold. Okay. And then after that was done, I took it outside and put snow all over here. So it's a heat cycle, and then boom, a cold cycle. So then it fit pretty well, actually. Um, now keep in mind when when this case is not modified, it literally sits like right there, like it will not close more than that. You can push on it, There's just it just does not fit. This is taller than the aluminum one. The aluminum one is not this, this tall. So this thing will sit like that. So it's not gonna close whatsoever. So now, as you can see, it's not that big of a deal. These tabs that were once raised like this are now indented, right? Because it molds across this. So you leave this in there, it molds and you're done. So it was almost latching perfect. I would say it was probably about like right there. Um, so it wasn't quite enough. So then what I did was I just laid a piece of cloth in there, a piece of fabric, old piece of shirt, laid this back in there to make it a little taller. So then there's a little extra room. So then went through the heat cycle again. This was up off the ground underneath the mount, did it again, then you take this out, do that, and it's perfect. So now everything fits in here. So now when you come down here like this, that's locked, and I did this one hand, so you know it's 
good. That, and you're done. The steel setup now fits in this case. Now granted, this thing is quite heavy, um, but everything fits in there and you can put it under your truck seat, whatever you wanna do, and it's good to go. So maybe that'll help someone if you wanna get the case and you want the steel mount, because in my opinion, the steel is gonna last longer than the aluminum. Um, over time, the aluminum is, it's gonna, it's gonna bore out itself. It's, it's, it's softer than steel and this thing is rated to tow more. And as long as you're not keeping it in your truck and you know, it's not gonna rust. Um, and if the weight's not a consideration for you, if you don't care about the weight, then I think steel is the way to go. So now I have the best of both worlds. I have the steel and I have it fitting in their case that's made for all the accessories. So I'll do another review after I've used it. Um, and we'll revisit this video.